After four years in the making, director and producer J.J. Abrams and the stars of the new Star Trek movie were out in style on the red carpet for the highly anticipated world premiere at Sydney's iconic Opera House. TV One was living long and prospering with the film's international star-studded cast, including Eric Banner, Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto, as they gave us exclusive insights into the film's inner workings. Ultimately, it's a very optimistic story. It, it's a fantasy, but it's also a vision of our future. You know, Star Wars was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. You know, Star Trek, this is a, a vision of our future. You know, hundreds of years from now, it says we live and we thrive and we work together and collaborate. And that idea of going where no one's gone before, on the one hand, it's a cliche. On the other hand, it's actually a very thrilling and exciting and scary challenge. Are you excited about the film tonight? Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing it and uh, sharing with the audience. I haven't seen it, so I'm, I'm pumped. Made as a prequel to the original series, the latest Star Trek film takes a modern look back to where the journey all began for the crew of the USS Enterprise. Were you nervous at all about taking on the role of Spock? Um, well, you know, it's uh, some big shoes to fill, but luckily I had the man himself to, uh, to guide me through the process. So I feel like that, that, that put me at a, at a great advantage, and I feel really grateful for that. Well, I get to play Nero, who's basically trying to destroy all these fine people on the red carpet here and uh, bring about death and destruction to the Starship Enterprise and their people. So I think it's a good character description. I play the role of uh, uh, Dr. Leonard McCoy, aka Bones. Uh, this character is um, a rascable, grumpy, uh, a grouchy uh, doctor with an appalling bedside manner, but beneath that he has the most absolute heart of gold. He is the most altruistic, caring, loyal friend in the universe. Were you nervous at all about filling the boots of Captain James T. Kirk? Yeah, I was a little, uh, a little nervous, but um, I'm really glad, I, you know, that I took on the challenge because I got to meet all these great people and get to work with, uh, get to work with JJ, and uh, we just had a really good time making it. It's a fun movie. It's a fun hour ride, you know. What was it like standing on the bridge of the Enterprise? It was like walking into a newly built cathedral because they'd revamped it and made it so brilliant and alive uh, so it was a bizarre feeling. I think that it sort of speaks to you know the mystery of what's beyond what we know. Buckle up. The wait is over.